Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to send dynamic content whenever we are making use of Salesforce messaging component. If you have an, have an use case where you wanted to send dynamic content, for example, using SMS channel, then we can make use of messaging component. And in the messaging component, we can make use of uh, parameters. In my use case, I wanted to send the messaging session name as the reference number so that when the customer uh, reaches back, the service reps will be able to search the messaging session, find the relevant conversation. And uh, uh, I had all uh, um, uh, lead, contact, person account, cases and other information linked to it so that it will be easy for them to get the relevant information when the customer reaches back. In order to do that, I made use of a standard messaging session parameter. Let's see. So this is the test notification message type uh, messaging component. Here I am making use of uh, dynamic content with the help of uh, parameters. And this is the expressions or uh, this is the syntax. So I have, uh, I'm going to send a, please share your feedback. Your reference number is, so this is the dynamic uh, messaging session name, which will be passed whenever they receive the SMS. Please uh, uh, reply stop to unsubscribe. Let's say the customer wants to unsubscribe from these notification. So they will be able to make use of the stop keyword. So let's look at this standard messaging session parameter. So if we go to parameters, by default, we will be able to see the messaging session as the standard parameter. In messaging session, if you have custom fields, and in the custom fields, if you are storing some in, some information, then you can make use of that. Also, in this uh, body of the uh, content. So here, instead of name, which is a standard field, if you use uh, the custom uh, uh, field API name, then it will fetch that uh, custom uh, field uh, value from the messaging session record and then it will be able to send it. Here I'm making use of uh, the standard enhanced SMS notification component and I have selected the messaging component. So when they receive the SMS, they will be able to see the dynamic messaging session name. So they will be able to make use of this as the reference. Please check the video description. In the video description, I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get how to set up enhanced SMS notification. And also in this video, whatever we have discussed, all the information, with the uh, sample uh, um, content, which will be able to generate uh, dynamic content using parameters. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.